the ultimate goals of Hajj. Hajj has numerous goals and objectives. After instructing pilgrims about what to do regarding the sacrificial animal they have to slaughter to seek closeness to Allah, Allah states, Their flesh and blood does not reach Allah. It is your piety that reaches him. Surat al-Hajj 22.37 The Prophet also said in this connection, Going round the Kaaba, running between the hills of As-Safa and Al-Marwa, and the stoning of the pillars are only meant for the remembrance of Allah. Sunan Abu Dawud, 1888 These goals and objectives include the following. 1. A demonstration of total submission and humility to Allah. This is realized when pilgrims forsake all forms of luxury and adornment and wear simple, seamless garments before assuming the condition of ritual purity, ihram, showing their total need and dependence on their Lord and ridding themselves of all worldly concerns and pursuits that may otherwise distract them from demonstrating total devotion to him, which is bound to invite his mercy and forgiveness. This demonstration of total submission becomes all the more vivid on the day of Arafah, when they stand before their Lord in a state of awe and reverence, giving thanks to him for his countless blessings and seeking his forgiveness for their slips and failings. 2. A demonstration of gratefulness to Allah Gratefulness to Allah for performing Hajj is shown for both the money and good health Allah has provided, which are amongst the greatest worldly blessings Allah has bestowed on man. When a Muslim performs Hajj, he actually demonstrates gratefulness to Allah for these two blessings by undergoing great physical hardships and spending his money to seek closeness to Allah in total obedience to him. Showing gratefulness is a duty that is not only established and affirmed by reasoning, but also ordained by divine law. 3. A wholesome demonstration of the universality of Islam. Muslims from the four corners of the world gather in the Holy Land in response to the call of Allah. They get to know one another, and the barriers of race, color, language and social class are set aside in this fraternity of faith that unites all Muslims in the largest annual human gathering, in which they help one another in furthering virtue and God-consciousness. 4. It is a reminder of the Day of Judgment. Hajj reminds those who perform it of the Day of Resurrection, when all human beings will stand equal before Allah for the final judgment. When pilgrims stand in the plain of Arafah, after assuming the state of ritual purity, ihram, by replacing their ordinary clothes with simple garments and expressing their readiness to serve Allah, and perceive the countless multitudes of pilgrims, all dressed in what looks like shrouds, this will open their eyes to what they will go through after death, and will prompt them to strive harder in preparation for the hereafter. 5. It is a demonstration of true worship of Allah alone. This is realized through the pilgrim's recitation of the Talbiyah, La Bayka la Huma la Bayk, La Bayka la Sharika laka la Bayk, Inna alhamda wa ni'mata laka wal mulk la sharika lak. Here I am at your service, O Allah. Here I am. Here I am at your service. You have no partners. Yours alone is all praise and bounty, and yours alone is the sovereignty. You have no partners. Describing the Talbiya, one of the Prophet's companions once referred to them as words of pure monotheism. Sahih Muslim, 1218. Indeed, Pure monotheism is apparent in all the Hajj rites, words and deeds, without exception.